hello everyone so uh, this will be my first voice over video uh, so the reason why i, I am going to uh, give a voice over is uh, i don't want to start from scratch uh, that has that i have been doing from the, my last four videos uh, because in this video our my aim is to show you the animation uh, so that's why i've already uh, set up I've already built the UI for you guys. Uh, so basically the animation that we are going to look is this wink animation the way uh, Everything is the animation is happening here is what I am going to show you and I've already uh, Made its clone so it's UI. I have already made it for you. I'll quickly I'll uh, walk you through what I have done so I have divided it into five components one is the music sheet header one is the progress bar music control other option and next song details so uh, the header is nothing it's it has three things one this background shape so it's a view shape uh, image and a text this three thing uh, the uh, header has and if you want to take your time so please uh, i'll share there is the repository link where i have the starter code you can look in look into the styling and even you can make it uh, your own way uh, definitely the waves and many icons are off because i haven't uh, spent much time to make it exactly like that uh, my main aim is to show you the animation uh, similarly the progress bar so it's a simple progress bar which has a uh, progress total and progress so it means the progress total is 100% of it and progress is basically this so if I suppose song is at 10% progress so it will go to 10% so but for now at default I have made 90 and same music control other option and next details so if you want to uh, start from here if you want to start coding with me what do you have to do i'll i'll keep the link uh, in the description so you just have to copy this code come here open your terminal you write git clone put the repository branch and the branch name is starter and enter in this way you will get the whole uh, project from this uh, part i'll also keep the finish uh, product but uh, that's how you'll uh, you can have uh, from where i'm starting so you can go to wing and here you need to do npm install and after npm install you need to do npm start and npm run androids uh, whatever device you are will be working on so in this way uh, so that's how you can start pretty much from where I am starting uh, so now let's open all this and now let's start the animation that we are going to animate so simply we'll come here uh, we'll write animated dot view simple and animated animate oh my God. animated dot view okay so this animated will come from reanimated uh every setup is done in the project uh, so we can directly use it and we'll do a we'll keep we'll make a animated value so sheet anim value is equals to use any sorry use shared value oh we'll give it zero so what basically we want to do is we want a gesture handler over the whole sheet so that when we drag it down i'll show you that directly the wing cap so when we drag from anywhere it goes down boom okay so uh, let's do the same so we'll have a pan gesture handler that will come from a reanimated uh, react animated gesture handler from 
native gesture handle sorry uh, so we'll wrap the whole animated view from that and there we'll have on gesture event we'll do handle gesture we'll take it and we'll do const we'll do use animated gesture handler from reanimated okay so this will give us three simple method basically it gives us five method you can always do control space and look into that so but we are going to use on start something will happen simple on actor something will happen and 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 so this will be our uh, just hand now okay so and we'll use const animated style for the sheet so animated style is equals to uh, use animated style and then animated style is a callback function so in that we have to uh, return okay so i have to close it Sorry for that. Oh God. So I have to turn off the notification. Okay, sorry. So I will use use animated style and what be what we want to do. So we will use this animated style here. So it's already an object wrap uh, it's already an object and we can directly write it at animated style and we want to translate y downward that means we want to translate the y in a positive direction so we can do a transform and we can do directly suppose uh, transform and translate y as for now just i'll well so what we can do directly and we'll put it here and here we'll do an animation so what we'll do we'll do a blank for the event and context and then context.x is equals to sheet will dot value so it will uh, save the previous state of our uh, animation value animated value in context context as and then we can use it here so we can use it in a sheet and in dot value is equals to uh, we can do event dot translation at translation y sorry and i'm so sorry so it should be y uh, plus context dot by so previous value plus current current translation so it uh, it will it won't have that weird behavior and in the end what we want to do for now just we'll put sheet value dot value will with spring will make it back to its original position zero okay so, so this should work i'll format it and we'll save it now so then i'll after I'll, I'll give a hard reload to this and uh, we'll try this i think it should work so i'll pull it down see and it, as soon as i left it it will go back with the spring animation so like this this is our first step uh so what actually we have to do is uh simply when we are going down you can see we have everything uh the the wave is uh fading out the image size is uh, getting small the title is fading away and at the end we have this thing this is one more component that we need to build uh, that will come here so this all animation we need to do so as you can see most of the animation is happening on the header nothing is happening on the downside of the sheet so we don't have to worry anything 
in this four section we'll just have to pass the uh, sheet value and we'll do sheet value so we'll pass the animation value to the uh, sheet and here we'll take it so as a uh, sorry sheet value i should have given a different name right sheet any value sorry so we'll come here we'll do const again animated style and we can do use any mated style so uh, the reason why i'm using animate style is because every time the uh, animation value will change this will re-render the or basically we recalculate uh the animation for us so definitely we should use use animated style if i would have directly done animated something and directly put this value so that would not that would work for the first time but it won't uh re-render recalculate again and again so what we need to do first we'll target the image we'll shrink the image here and uh i think before this before this, let's uh, before this we need to say okay. Uh, so we'll uh, do a log so for even dot translation one. Okay, so I'll reload it. <clears throat> so what what's uh, so we have to look if the value of translation y is so oh, it's not login wait <clears throat> so if the well, uh, value is positive then we want to go down and if the value is negative then we want to go up means as we are going positive then it will go here and if you're dragging up it will it will be negative so it will so we'll keep a simple value on a uh, we'll uh, keep it in a config const drag range simple so we'll keep it 50 i'll save it and here i'll say so let's event and say if even dot translation y is greater than uh, drag range so if it is greater than drag range so if it's greater than zero basically you want to go also if even dot translation y is less than minus drag range will this work i don't know then we want sheet dot value to go up so so when when will sheet will be here and will drag up so it will be a negative value and if it's more than minus 50 we want it to go up but when we're dragging it down and its value is greater than zero i'm sorry 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 so its value is uh, greater than zero and uh, greater than i guess 50 yeah we'll do drag range sorry its value is greater than 50 so in that case we want uh, it to go somewhere just for test we'll keep it as at 100 okay refresh it uh, 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 so now if we'll go somewhere down here it will stay here and as long as we'll go somewhere above here it's go back to zero so how much we want to go down so again we'll put this in a config value so we want to go somewhere around the height minus 70 so uh, 
drag down value so what we need to do here is we need to dimensions dot get uh, window dot height minus uh, 70 i guess this is a drag down value we save it and here we'll put this as drag down value we'll save it we'll, we'll give it refresh <clears throat> so now if i'll go beyond uh, 50 it will go to this point and uh, we really don't want spring animation it's not looking nice uh, so i'll change it to a timing and again i'll give it a refresh so okay so now it it should work nicely so if i'll go down it goes here if i'll go up it goes up sorry so i think it's working now simple okay now one thing we have to restrict is going this now the sheet can go up and even we drag down it can go beyond your screen this is something we need to strike it down so what we'll do is uh, we'll do an interpolation uh, over here so here instead of passing the whole value we'll do interpolate that value so it, it it's give a suggestion what should be it should be an animation value an input range and output range and extrapolate or whatever other config is so we need this is this will be the input range then this will be the output range so i'll comment it around input range and this will be the output range and input range will be simply zero and we have that value drag down value so we'll do drag down value and the output range will also be zero and drag down value and we want it extra polate that will come from reanimated dot clamp i'll format it so this is how it will look and i'll save it i'll come here and give it a refresh i'm doing with i'm doing refresh again and again because sometimes it doesn't work so i don't want uh, it to be not working right this is the important piece so now i'm dragging it up it's not going up and similarly i'm dragging it down it's not going down this is what the behavior we want right nice uh so now we'll we'll do image uh, animation so when we'll go down so here the image will shrink and come to here but before that we have a uh, one more problem so like we have said here the conditions if the event dot translation is greater than the drag range which is 50 so it will go down and if it is more than minus of drag range will go but what if it's between them so what if it's here see uh, it will stuck uh, right there only won't go down or up similarly when we are will move uh, well when we'll move a little bit here it will stuck right there only so that's where the, the context will come in place so if none of the condition will meet we'll do sheet dot value to be equal to context dot y so we, when we are saving the sh uh, sheet uh, anim dot value at the at the start and if no condition matches then we want uh, our uh, sheet to go back to its initial place where uh, it was previously so i'll save it now i will come here and i'll reload it <clears throat> so now if i'll see uh it's moving it's it's working but it's 
it's not animating so just we need to do is uh, copy the animation and and paste it right here see cool so this is working so now we'll have to move to header so this is the header we are passing the sheet animated value here and we are receiving it here and we are going to do uh, animated we are going to name it animated image style uh, and we'll return we'll return transform and we'll do scale and we'll do interpolate so it will be sheet and in value and so if you are confused why I am passing only this so I have already passed plot value here so input range will be zero and drag down value and at, at zero so at initial the image will be at uh, full size and when it goes down it should be well, we have to check what value so for now i'll put it 0 0.4 okay and definitely we need to do extrapolate dot clamp and we need to take this we need to make our image animated animated dot image sorry animated dot image and we need to pass it here animated image save it give it a format again save it uh, so at zero it should be one and drag down value it should be okay I think we we'll need to give it a refresh. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, I am, yeah. So now if I'll go down, oh, it's not working. Uh, 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 so let's let's take value here. Uh, because we want this value to change every time the animation happens i guess this is the problem uh, because once the value is been sent from there it won't change so we need that value to come inside our i use animated style so that's why it was not animating so again let's give it a refresh uh, i'm sure it will work now see Hmm. it's working okay so uh, we have we have implemented this uh, scale animation but but uh, there is one problem with this so you can see when uh, image scales down it goes to the center uh, so what we want we want this uh, much distance from the image and it should not because if it goes to the center, it will be really hard to calculate the value. It's it's possible, but why to mess up? Uh, why to implement so much calculation? So what we can do is, instead of making it a uh, space between, we can make it uh, center and save it. Oh, sorry. Basically, we don't do anything with this. So still, the result is same. But now. Uh, okay so let's do one thing instead of passing image style here we'll directly will do that uh, image style I'll directly pass it here and now instead of 65 percent uh, we'll will make it as a 65% uh, from the calculation so we'll take the width here and we'll use dimension into 65 divided by 100 okay 
so nothing will change it will remain same but now it will be easier for us to uh, calculate the width and interpolate it based on the dragging so first of all we don't need the scale value i'll remove it uh, so directly i'll comment it right now so nothing will happen so what we wanted to do is uh, we want to interpolate so we will take this interpolation copy this and we'll drag put it here okay so what we want what we want is uh, when it is zero we want the height to be 65 percent and when value is when the sheet is dragged down we want it to be 60 same for height so for height when the sheet is up we want height to be 240 and when sheet is down we want it to be 60 so i'll just do uh, from a document i'll save it i'll rerun the project so now we are interpolating the width and height we don't want scale so now when if i'll go down you'll see it stays at above it stays above but it also goes to the center or center we don't want we want this thing to be right here okay so for that we'll need a wrapper around here and we'll give it a view and we'll, we'll give it a style so basically this will also be for 65 percent okay and uh, yeah that's it guys one more document i'll save it now it will go down you see now we just have to translate it to this side and translate it to, it to this side and how much this is this uh, text is we this header text is 50 high 15 height so 50 above and 35 percent left so that's that's the only we want to translate bring it back we'll do here translate x and we'll copy this oh sorry we'll copy this we'll make it translate y so when it is up so we don't want to do anything same case same here when the sheet is down so we want to translate 30 we don't want to be exactly in to the corner so let's say we want to translate at 32 percent okay 33 percent let's say and in for translate y and it will be negative value sorry it will be negative value in translate y will also be negative because we want to go up uh, how much we want to go up is this text style so 40 let's say 40 it's 50 but we want 10 uh, space from above so i'll save it i'll give it a hard reload oh uh, i think this sh this should work so if i'll drag it down see now it's going off the screen why because we have translated it to 33% but it is translating to 33% but we also want to consider the height of an image which is 60 width of the image sorry which is 60 so we need to minus it out here and then we need to also we need to add to that 60 means we don't we want 60 less translation to x okay Oh, I think this will work now. So if I'll go down, oops, working. Uh, sixty. Okay, so I guess this is like this. Translate that. So. Sorry, negative. I don't want to add the translation. It should be minus. Sorry. Uh, now it should work. 
Okay. Nice. And if you see the original Wink animation, oh, come on. So, drag it. It's there. I think its border radius is also in, uh, getting animated, so we can do that. So drag it down. I can we can make it uh, thirty two percent. There will be more space at the end. Yeah, that's perfect. Similarly, uh, translation for border radius. So just copy this from here, paste it. So for zero, it will be eight. And when the whole sheet is downwards, so we can do zero. Okay. Again, format the document. Copy it. So we can see. Scrap. Nice. Now next, we want to fade this out. So this is the textile we want to fade away. Uh, simply just make it animated dot view copy animated dot view uh, will will cut this will make it text animated style come up here fonts text it style is equals to use animated style um we can return here this text animated stuff okay just cut it down i'll delete this bring it up here and i'll do format the document and nothing should change but now we can give it an opacity and just copy the interpolation copy it uh, comma base can delete one of them now when it is zero we want opacity to be one and when it's dragged down opacity to be zero so format again save just give it a hard reload <clears throat> now it should work just see, drag it down it's fading away now we want one more component here uh but like one more component here and also we want this to happen if you see the color the color is changing okay so for that it could be a little tricky because uh, it's an svg so uh, like we want to change color for this svg so i'll quickly i'll make it first of all animated path i'll do that animated path of animated dot create animated component and just pass the path there copy this but right here also and uh, it's animated path with const animated prop is equals to use so this is uh, animated props that we need but that we need to use with svgs and it's come from subject animated uh, reanimated so it's similar to animated style but for svg we need, we need to use animated part it, it also takes an callback and it's return the uh, all the props so what we can do is you can just copy this cut it down and paste it here and make it object Object and object. We need to give comma. Format document and copy the animated prop here. Here you need to write animated props to be animated prop. Save it. Uh, give a hard reload and everything should work as it was. It was before, doing before. So nothing happens. But now we want to change want to interpolate this uh, color so first of all we need to bring spread the prop and starting we need a sheet any value so we'll copy this 
so we will pass it in the wave shape copy it again come here again so what we need to do we need the interpolation same as this so i can copy one of the interpolation copy come here come and get down interpolation but for colors we need interpolate color and this value zero drag down value we need to bring it from there extrapolate also we need to bring but now we need to uh, uh, change the color okay but uh, the interpolate color doesn't work with hex value or any other uh, colors it only works with rgb and hsv i guess so hsl sorry so what we need to do we need to take this we need to take that and convert it into rgb so this is the rgb value for that so i'll come here i'll do rgb paste it right here and what we want to change it into into brand color uh not brand color uh the dark color i guess yeah this color so this color also will need the rgb value so we'll come here again and we will change rgba rgb sorry to this okay so i'll format the document let's see if it works or not we'll give it a hard reload again uh, <clears throat> invalid color property rgb i have done rgb only right so interpolate color sheet and value zero drag on rgb rgb yeah it's rgb only animated Let's rerun it. I'm not sure why it's happening. Supported value are this. I'm not sure. Let's do RGBA. One. Maybe a, it's it's clearly telling a supported one is RGB and we have used RGB. I'm not sure why it's why it didn't work previously. Okay, so let's again do RGB. Let's rerun the project. I guess something might. I'll try one more time. Otherwise, I'll rerun the project. Yeah. Let's close this clear and PM start. Run clear and PM run code. Bullet color. Fill into the sheet for animator dot value. Zero drag down value. Oh, I know why it's not working. So we don't need extrapolate because I, uh, I think extrapolate only works with numbers. Let's see. I'm sure this is the error. Yeah, let's let's remove extrapolate and then try. yeah yes i am sure extrapolate don't work with interpolate color so that was the mistake so now if i drag down you see then it changes the value right and if you see the main app uh wing so it does it at the end it, it will keep the color same and at this point when we have our header height so we can do it simply you can do it like you can use a config but for just for uh, simplicity i'll put it 200 so after 200 it will start interpolating 
So I'll refresh it. Hmm. Oh, like so. I think it didn't. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So it should the drag down value and in starting it should be two hundred. Okay, sorry. It will start from interpreting from two hundred and goes down. So initially it will be same, and when it reaches two hundred, we start the color. And then here you can we can put our uh, final component. So it will be hidden. Uh, so it will all it will also be an absolute component should be so simply we'll put here view and the component r i don't know what's the component we have to make uh, this so it's It's one single component we can one, one single container we can make and we can give it a style and style start uh, playing song I guess container okay. so it will have two things so so one will be the image. Will be the image that is uh, will be the image that is pause icon. So pause icon. I'm sorry. It will be play icon. Play button. But play. Play button. With the width of 16, width of 16 and white, so we can do colors dot white, okay, and style here this, and this will be width of 40, height of 40, and border radius of 20 so i'll say with let's open our application hmm. this is where we have some right now we can just uh, comment out the image okay. this is the button we have and this it's fill sorry not fill it's uh, background color will be color start brand color okay fine and after that we need just like this component this two songs so it will be let's go to songs next songs details we have this to text copy it and come to music shed bring it here and we'll import song to info i think we'll do song one info if that's the song which is playing right copy so now and we want to oh sorry we want to keep this in this tab this, so now uh, this song container it will be an animated value right so let's make it an animated value Pons, uh, song animated value use animated style and just return those things 
written that uh, first will be flex direction flex direction it will be rho take this this is the container so I'll just put it right here and we'll make it animated edit dot view copy this paste it format the document so now you can see it's there now we can make it like uh, justify content center align item center okay and this button will be uh, so when we drag it down you see we need it to take this full width okay so we can give it a width of like uh, 85 percent something like that okay and we can give it a justify content space between so not 85 Okay. and we do we need this good hundred percent okay and then we can have we can have one more wrapper here one more wrapper so now this thing will be a width of let's say 80 percent right and here we'll give it a line item flex and like this so when it goes down directly it will be there and also we can do is uh, we can do is if this position absolute go up and we'll make at a top of uh, like top top we will make it 10 it will directly it will come there right and this button we can give it a margin this we can give it a margin uh, right of 10 now this will have an opacity so same like this but it's opposite so it's zero here and one at the end format it now we can bring back the image we can give a uh, hard reload <clears throat> so now if I'll go down now you see that image start to appear but everything is we can make it more uh, in the center but yeah you can you can do that styling thing but what we need to do is we don't want this to be shown until we reach at more than half of the uh, uh dragging uh, translation so we can do it by half okay after half it will start i think this will be our last thing to be done for this uh tutorial so we'll see after half it will start right now that's that is pretty much it guys for this tutorial i hope you like and enjoy it thank you for watching thank you